Hi there, this is Galen Martling. I'm here today with Unity Stamp Company's stamps and I'm going to show how to watercolor in very light shades and neutrals and also to make the rest of the card in neutrals as, as neutral colors as well. And so now I have stamped onto Ranger watercolor paper and Tim Holtz watercolor paper this beautiful scene which is the mailbox and the garden scene along with the sentiments and so i used my creative time stitched scalloped oval dies for this now for the watercolor i start with using a lot of water you'll see i make some water wells with a little bit of color and mix with a lot of water and i spread that around with a brush and it's hard to tell on this camera with all the lights, but it is very pale blue. Just what I was going for. I want this card to be light and soft. And so I make sure that's dry before I move on to another layer because I don't want the water to blend in with the sky, the watercolor. And so here I'm using some very light, very pale gray for the mailbox. And so um, I just mix it with a lot of water of that gray and then apply it and then dab on some darker color if I feel like I want some of that to be darker. And I just fill in all of the mailbox and then I'll take away some of that color just by dabbing the brush onto the paper towel and just moving some color off of that inside mailbox that uh, I want to remain lighter, a lighter gray. And so, for the flowers, I just add some orange, a little bit of light orange, uh, just a tad of orange. And then um, the flowers will be into a light ivory shade also. So now I'm adding some of this brown. The brown is much darker than I thought it would be, but I go ahead and finish the post, the mailbox post with the brown mixed in with some water and I, I will take away some of that darkness later on. I'm going to go ahead and finish this mailbox and all these pieces and move around the color the way I want and maybe outline some of those posts a little bit better. Now I'm going, you'll see later on, I'm going to take away some of that darkness. All you have to do is wet your brush and move that color around and onto the paper towel to remove color. So now I'm going to finish the flowers very lightly, adding just a little color towards the bottom. So you can see this watercolor is not bright. Sometimes I do bright watercolor on purpose, but this time I wanted it to be very soft. I used a very narrow paintbrush for this because there's different the fine detail, especially towards the bottom. So I just use this very narrow brush. Now I use the water on the brush, move it over that brown, and move that color onto the paper towel. And so this is this is what I was going for here. So on the back of that mailbox panel, there is some foam tape, double-sided foam tape, and I'm going to place that onto a frame layer of scallops and I will place some twine, some hemp cording onto the top of that card front there. And I like it just to be wispy. Sometimes I thought this looked like something that the twine would look good, just wispy on the top. I place the back with flat double-sided tape on the back of that scallop layer to place it right onto the card base. To finish. I think I'll line that later on with another liner to finish the card. Thanks so much for watching. Please take a moment to subscribe and have a great day.